Hi there, I'm Gavin McDevitt from the Community Investigation Unit in Fort Valley and I'm looking for a couple of minutes of your time to talk about home security. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Gav, that sounds boring and I've got loads of videos of cats falling out of bathtubs to watch. But bear with me, that video is still going to be there in five minutes and this one might stop you becoming a victim of crime. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. So here's this place. Could be any street, any town. Might be your street, if it is your street, then congratulations, your street's now famous. You see this guy? That guy's a housebreaker. He's not really, he's just acting, but we we'll, can go with it. Yeah, and he's looking for an easy target. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Gav, it's the middle of the day. Surely housebreakers only come out at night. But you'd be thinking wrong. That's vampires. Vampires come out at night. Housebreakers are just as likely to target residential properties through the day because they're looking for a time when people are likely to be out. He's looking for properties that are obviously empty. Shouldn't be too difficult for him, because he can see into the properties from the pavement here. If you've got valuables like laptops or tablets and they're sitting on open display, well, all the easier for him. He's also looking for things like alarm boxes and CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras are pretty inexpensive now and easy enough to set up. And even something like a dummy camera or an alarm box is probably enough to make him think twice about targeting an address. Looks like he's found what he's after though. Have a think about where it is you keep your keys. Now having a key bowl or a key hook near to the front door is really convenient for people who are always losing their keys, but I'll tell you who else it's convenient for. That guy. If he can see your keys and where they're kept from either the letter box or through the windows, then there's a fair chance he's going to be able to get to them without too much fuss. Even if he can't reach them from the letter box, then he knows where your keys are, and if he does decide he's going in, then he's going to be able to get to them without having to search. Look at that, house keys and car keys. Happy days for this guy. Keeping your keys away from the door, out of view and most importantly out of reach can help you stop becoming a victim of crime. Better go and see what he's up to. This is where the window shopping pays off. Leaving valuable items out where anyone can find them, well, it just makes his life an awful lot easier. If you hide stuff away where it can't be found, by anyone walking in your house, then it means he's got to search for it. If he's got to search for it, he's got to touch things. If he's got to touch things, he leaves a trace that we can follow up later on. The jewelry and cash is what this guy is really after. It's easy to handle, easy to dispose of, and difficult to trace. If you've got expensive jewellery in the house, have a think about where it is you keep it. Maybe don't leave it in the first place a thief's going to look, i.e. on a jewellery box on top of your dresser. The same goes for cash. Try not to have large sums of money around the house because look, that's what banks are for. If you are going to store cash in the house, think about getting a safe. If you're getting a safe, think about where you're storing it. Again, not the first place he's going to look. All in all, pretty efficient. Imagine how devastating that is for the people that stay here. And it can all be avoided with a few simple thoughts about home security. Think about security measures in and around your home. Don't leave your keys where they can be easy to access from the front door. Don't leave valuable property lying about where would-be thieves can see them. And let's make life difficult for a would-be housebreaker.